Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today, we're going to be talking about the C8 Corvette Z06, the quality control hold finally nearing an end, the first customer Z06 build sheet that has shown all of the information, and moving on to some earlier Z06 allocations that are coming to us now before the 2023 model year. Let's jump right into this one. All right, guys, so as of today, we get some awesome information about the Z06. Finally, some good news for the car. So as you guys heard there in the beginning, there's three pieces of information we're gonna to cover today. The first one being the quality control hold for the C8 Z06 is finally over. Now this is official from GM. They posted up a picture on Instagram, on Facebook, all of the big media outlets and said, we put the world on notice. Now it's time to show them why. The 2023 Corvette Z06 is ready to dominate a street near you and they put out the picture of the z06 finally coming off the build line and it is ready to go now in this picture you can clearly see this is a 70th anniversary edition z06 in the carbon flash painted color and of course i do believe that is rick hendrick's vehicle if i had to guess that is the spec he chose after he bought it at barrett jackson for 3.6 million dollars now obviously you can see the picture here of the car coming off that assembly line and what i think think is pretty interesting is none of them have that splitter on the front of course because that is removed for shipping purposes that will be put back on once the car is at the dealership but we had some speculation early on that a lot of these cars were shipping around with the splitters and the wings intact and it looks like the wing is on this particular car but there is no splitter so this is just something that they do to prevent any kind of damage when shipping the car but like i said Earlier on in the Z06's existence, we saw a bunch of these cars getting shipped with the splitters intact, but those were the captured test fleet vehicles and the test vehicles, so GM probably didn't care as much about it. Now looking at it, you can clearly see customer cars are not going to ship with that splitter intact. What that means is that the car is ready to go, guys. So if you have an order out for a car, if you've been one of the lucky few that have gotten an allocation for this thing, it's possible your car could be on a trailer being delivered to your house as early as as next week. So I've heard a couple rumorings and whisperings in the Corvette community that some of these Z06s are scheduled to be delivered as early as next week, like I said. And that is really, really freaking awesome, guys. Now, the second piece of information comes to us from our friends over at the Mid-Engine Corvette Forum. And sure enough, it is the build sheet, thanks to a certain user there named John006. This is literally an actual official build sheet of a Z06 showing all of the options and everything like that. It's really cool to see this in person. It feels like we've been waiting for this car forever. Now, I'll drop a link in the description down below, guys, if you want to read this in a little bit more information. But basically, it's just a sheet showing the car that has officially been built. But guys, moving on to the meat and potatoes of this upload, the big thing you guys all clicked on this video for is, yes, we are getting some more C8 Corvette Z06 allocations this year. So we don't have to wait until 2023. GM has decided to trickle out a couple more allocations starting in November. Now, this information comes to us from our friends over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com. As usual, they always are a wealth of knowledge. And especially when it comes to good news about the Z06, they are on it. So the article starts off by saying new Z06 allocations coming and the dealers are told November Z06 allocations are in fact coming. It says below that this is wonderful news that was sent to dealers as part of their typical GM communication to its dealers. Here's a screenshot of the official GM communication. It says that model year 2023 Z06 update. The Z06 estimated shipments in cycle two of each month starting in November cycle two on 11-16. Model year 23 customer retention Tension timing horizon revised to six months. So we talked about that once before on the channel that you don't have to keep the car for a full year anymore. It's actually only six months before you can sell it to avoid that warranty voided problem. Now, the way this is worded, the way it looks, it doesn't actually say allocations. And I, I read through this thing 14 times before I was like, okay, I'm missing something. So I scrolled down through the article here and sure enough, it says flat out that the way that the dealerships use their verbiage, and this was verified with the top three Corvette dealerships. In this context for the dealerships, shipments equals allocations. Even though they don't say allocations, they are referring to allocations when they say shipments. This is something that has been confirmed, like I said, by the top three dealerships for Corvettes. So this is, in fact, 
great freaking news. So for any of you out there waiting for a Z06 and we're kind of bummed at the idea of having to wait until 2023, possibly even a couple months into 2023 before you could even get an allocation for the car, you still have a chance to get one for 2022. So really awesome information, guys. But anyway, the article at the midenginecorvetteforum.com goes on to say that this is wonderful news for two reasons. Sure, it's wonderful in of itself due to the fact that they're reopening the Z06 allocation award prior to the beginning of next year. But thinking beyond that level of great news, what does this mean? It means just as we're learning today from the end of quality control hold for the Z06, that behind the scenes, within the walls of the Bowling Green plant, that the initial assessment of the the way that the Z06s are actually going together means they could put out a few more Z06 allocations earlier than they thought. Now, what that basically means is, yeah, these cars are going together a lot better than we thought they were going to, so we have a lot more time. Maybe we can make a couple hundred more of these things. And that is obviously fantastic news for any of us waiting for this car. It goes on to say how many Z06 allocations and what would their constraint level be. All of that stuff is not quite known just yet, but they are speculating that we probably will know that around the morning of November 24th. And from there can kind of go ahead and put in those orders and get everything submitted through. Now, obviously, if I had to guess, Z07 is still going to be on constraint. Hopefully it's not because that's the car I would want to go with. But at the same time, it does make sense that some of those earlier constraints will still be in place for this particular car. Just because we're getting a couple hundred, hopefully a couple hundred extra allocations of this car doesn't necessarily mean the constraints are going to change at all. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content. This was something totally unexpected when I woke up this morning. I really did not expect to hear much more about allocations with the Z06 until February or April of 2023. So this is fantastic news for those of us out there waiting for this car. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming that you are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.